Hello everyone, in this video let us try to understand the requirements on which we are going to work. So I have taken a case study. Say I want to develop a portal for sharing some URLs and I have named it as Link Hub. So Link Hub is a web portal where a user can submit their portal URL under a specific category. So a user can submit their portal URL under a specific category to be shared on link hub. Now admin will come into picture and admin can approve or reject the URL submitted by the user. And in each case an email is sent out to the user whether it is approved or rejected. Once the link is approved, it will be available on the link hub portal under a specific category. So this is very simple kind of URL sharing portal. So if I have a URL say www.manzurthetrainer.com, I can go and upload it or share it under education or you can say training category. Now admin will look for that and checks whether it is valid or not then admin will go for approving or rejecting of that URL. So once it is approved, it will be available for all the users on the link hub. If it is rejected, a notice will be sent or you can say a message will be sent to the user who has submitted this saying that your URL has been rejected due to so and so, so and so reason. So this is our finalized requirement. Now what do we need to do? We need to identify the roles first. That means who are going to access my portal. So basically there are three kinds of users who are going to access. One is a normal guest without logging in or without any kind of security they can access to the common page of URLs. The next major role is of your admin and user. So if a user wants to submit a URL they need to log in and register as user and submit URL and admin will log in and approve or reject that particular URL. So basically we have two major roles user and admin. So two roles I have that is user. Now what a user can do? User can browse the URLs. So user can browse the existing URLs. User can register and can submit a URL. Next, admin. Admin can create, read, update, delete categories and can view all the users who registered and can approve or reject URLs. So these are the major things that an admin can do as per our requirement. Admin can, all, if you want, admin can also create, read, update, delete categories. Admin can create, read, update, delete URLs, whatever you want. But as per my requirement, this is what I want. So we have defined two roles, that is user and admin. So user can perform these tasks, admin can perform these tasks. So roles and responsibilities has been defined. Next, identifying the objects. Now, what are the objects? from this. If we observe carefully, we can identify the objects. First object is definitely a user category, then URL. So we defined these three kinds of objects. Now you might be thinking, how about admin? See, user means admin or a normal user category and URL. Now we need to identify the relationship between objects. Now let us see category and URL. Now basic rule of identifying the relationship is I go for looking in this way 1 to n. One category can have n number of URLs. Yes that is correct. One category can have n number of URLs. Now, one URL, can one URL belongs to n number of categories? No, this is not a valid. 
so if this is not a valid there is no question of n to n so here we get one to many relationship next user and url one user can submit n number of urls now in reverse case one url can be submitted by n number of users no one url cannot be submitted by n number of users n to n no question so one to many relationship let us see what are the objects that we found user category and url and the relationships that we found between category and url one to many between user and url one to many now why am i not making relationship between user and category this is meaningless because if user submits a url that url will belongs to a certain category so indirectly there will be a relationship between user and category so here we get three objects and two relationships now using these three objects and two relationships i need to design database now how to design database we will see that in our next video thank you very much